Hello, welcome to this mini episode of Running With Finances. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about the sweet spot. And so I find that this there's relates really well to finances because a lot of my clients that I work with, they want to balance their life today as well as their future possibilities and opportunities. And really what that takes is finding that sweet spot that in between where you can actually have the benefits of both and feel really great that you're doing the, the best thing for both of those aspects. And how that relates to running is there's there's a couple different ways. I'll tell you a quick story. One that I actually love about my little brother, and it, it's whenever I'm running and I'm starting to feel uh, gassed, I always think about this story. But uh, we were on the track team together, and I think it was like a three mile run, and he basically sprinted the first two laps, and he he lapped everyone. He lapped me like twice, I think, because he was sprinting, and I was. I was prepared to, to go that full distance and just kind of take it easy. And I thought he was crazy. And, and he was. It turned out that he ended up getting really sick. The awesome thing is he still finished. Uh, he was kind of acting like his legs uh, had bricks on him at the end. But he finished, ended up throwing up like very soon after he stopped running. But there, there's, that's the option, right? You can try to go gung-ho and, and just focus uh, too much on the, the wrong stuff. and and really put too much of a burden on yourself. And so that's outside of the sweet spot, obviously. Uh, then there's, uh, you can go a lot slower, not do anything at all as far as planning for the future. And you can walk even though you're capable of being able to do more and ask more of yourself during those runs. And you can actually find that sweet spot where you're not pushing yourself too hard to where you're gonna get injured, get sick <laughs> to your stomach like my brother did, or, you don't have to be walking or jogging. You could probably be going a little bit faster, feeling a little bit of that pain and uncomfort. Because like most things in life, there is that uh, uncomfort zone where that's where you really start to grow. And really, people that I seem to run into that are the most uh, happy with their lives are typically forcing themselves to be a little bit uncomfortable all the time. Not to the crazy aspect where they're forcing themselves to sprint uh, a half marathon, but being practical with what they're trying to do and then moving closer to their goals by pushing themselves just slightly every single time. So that's uh, my quick conversation about the sweet spot and how that, that works with running and how that relates to your personal finances.